Joan Zarco's entry in the world of MotoGP took a significant turn in 2020 when he joined the ranks of Ducati riders. The Italian powerhouse saw the potential in this Frenchman and signed him to join the Avintia satellite squad. He quickly made a global name for himself as a dangerous opponent, showcasing his expertise on the track as he was consistently delivering outstanding performances. His racing abilities were absolutely insane as he helped Ducati earn an incredible 13 podium finishes between the Austrian Grand Prix in 2020 and 2023. Now transitioning over to Honda, the formerly known as the unstoppable force on the MotoGP circuit, has recently been dealing with a number of difficulties that have impacted their historical domination. For the Japanese juggernaut, limited race victories and title contentions are nothing new considering the trajectory Honda is on right now, and there are many stats to prove it. These aren't just simple statistics, they are the backdrop reason for why Joan Zarco's move to LCR Honda is taking place, and that reason is because he may be the only one who can bring hope for Honda, and potentially a promise of change. Everyone knows that Zarco's relationship with Ducati has been distinguished by his ability for getting the most out of the Italian machinery and establishing his value on several podiums. And because of the expertise that he has gained while riding a bike as strong as the Dismo Sidisi, Honda is hopeful that he might end up being the crucial element that they desperately need to restore their former glory. And if there's anyone who can vouch for Zarco's potential impact, it's the 8-time world champion himself, Marc Marquis. Marquis, often regarded as one of the most skilled riders on the grid, recognizes Zarco's transition from the best bike on the grid to Honda as a pivotal moment. Zarco's versatility, having tested and raced for various manufacturers, adds to his appeal. With insights from his time on Suzuki's, Yamaha's, KTM's, and most recently Ducati, Zarco brings a wealth of knowledge that could be very valuable for Honda engineers and riders alike. His multi manufacturer experience clearly extends to his riding style. Having adapted to varying machines, he's developed a well rounded approach that takes advantage of the strengths of each manufacturer, and this could be critical in helping Honda engineers fine tune the RC213V to to a wider range of conditions and circuits. Now the combined talent of Johan Zarco, Joan Mir, and Marc Marquis creates a lineup with a total of 12 world championship titles. Zarco and Mir contribute for two titles each, an impressive feat in it of its own. However, it's Marquis who stands out as the powerhouse within this lineup, with eight world championships to his name, a record that solidifies his status as one of the greatest riders in the history of the sport. Together, such a combination of championship winning riders is rare and holds an immense promise. It's not just a combined talent that makes this lineup exciting. It's the collective hunger for victory that comes from each rider. Their shared ambition to elevate Honda back to the pinnacle of MotoGP is a driving force that can't be underestimated. Overall, as the 2024 season approaches, the MotoGP world is a buzz of excitement. The emergence of powerhouse lineup featuring Zarco, Marquise, and Mir hints at a new era of competitiveness and intrigue. Until then, we will just have to wait for the unfolding of a new chapter in the captivating world of MotoGP.